I'm Lisa Cravener. I teach eighth grade uh, history at Milford. Um, today we went over the difference between a Democrat and a Republican. Um, when it comes to elections, the kids are still young enough that they don't necessarily care enough about the candidates, but getting them to understand the difference between a Democrat and a Republican helps them to make somewhat of an informed choice. So we went over you know, who tends to be a Democrat, who tends to be a Republican, and then we went over the governor choices so that on Monday they can make an informed choice at least about that race. Class discussion in Ms. Cravener's was about the um, Republicans versus the Democrats and how their differences and what they believe in and why some are liberalists and some are conservatives. Well, you know now that if you're going to be voting in the near future, in the future, you know, like, if you believe in certain things yourself, you can vote for that. I know when I'm going to be voting, I know who I'm going to be voting for. And I'm going to do some research tonight to find out more about the candidates that we'll be kind of fake voting for on Monday. And I'll understand more about them and I'll be able to make an educated vote. Hi, I'm Chad Evans, the uh, K-12 teacher liaison for social studies in the district. And this year we are participating in Bucks County Student Voters, uh, which was formerly Kids Voting. And uh, when Kids Voting decided to close their doors, uh, several businesses uh, in uh, the county decided to continue the process and it was reinvented through the Bucks County IU. And essentially the opportunity is there for our students to participate in elections each year so that they can better understand uh, their civic duty as they grow older and to a, a voting adults. And uh, at different levels, students have an opportunity to vote for different parties uh, and different uh, offices. So in this election, it was for the governor's race as well as for um, Senate and, and House, both at the federal and the state level as well. And this year we had quite a bit of, um, of involvement here within the district. Bucks County IU is collecting the results um, both from uh, the district itself as well as individual buildings and those results are published both in the Intelligencer on uh, the day after the election and they will also be published on the district website uh, once we get them from the Bucks County IU.